what is up everyone coffee break is back with another video jarek mckinnon he's the topic of conversation in this video and earlier in the week i asked myself a question who is jarek mckinnon how will he help the 49ers niner fans we have not seen mckinnon in action in a niner uniform so i'm sure a lot of you guys are curious as well well i took a deep dive into mckinnon's work from 2017 when he was with the minnesota vikings this was his last healthy season and i must say i was left impressed like i understand why shanahan loves a kid and why i still think he's on the roster i have him making the 53 man roster this year and watching a lot more of his tape solidified that for me he's an every down back and i first want to talk about his catching abilities I know he's a running back, but I think this is what makes him special, catching the football. When I watch McKinnon catch a football, it's like he's a natural out there, like a receiver. The Vikings used him by running a lot of screens and it's almost like it's second nature to him. I mean, some backs have trouble catching the football, let alone running an efficient screen game. McKinnon knows where to be, positions himself well for the quarterback to make a throw. I just like how he went about it. It's like he could do it in his sleep and you can tell he's run those plays hundreds of times in practice so he has the hands to go with it and his run game let's talk about that it's him being patient and when he hits the hole he hits it hard i mean one thing with mckinnon is you have to bring up his physicality and this has been kyle shanahan's key takeaway when drafting or picking up offensive weapons you look at debo you look at kittle you look at Hurd, you look at the new weapon brandon Ayuk. kyle wants his guys initiating the contact and not shying away from it so mckinnon is every bit of that has a mean cutback too so i think mckinnon is the perfect back for kyle now i did touch on screens just a minute ago but let me go back to that let's go more in depth i want to take a look at this play right here You'll have McKinnon catch a screen to the left. You have the left guard in the center pulling that receiver to the left blocking and you'll have a nine yard gain here. You'll see all the attention will be on Diggs and Thielen to the right and rightfully so. Defense will pay attention to them. They're the weapons. Busy here, but the ball goes the other way. And you just wanna see that guard and that center just run straight at that DB and not wait for them. McKinnon would have probably got a lot more yards, but just imagine Debo, Kittle, Ayuk, lined up to the right you can have herd line up on the left where the screen is going have lincoln and richburg pull and we're off to the races now of course this play was set up can't remember i think they ran on first down which made it second and ten you expect an offense to maybe pass here and a screen was called at a good time to provide a third and short these are the types of weapons that kyle shanahan has at his disposal and you know just just the screen alone you get a third and short but you know there's other ways other ways to, to get it done but we're not done yet we also have some legit running plays like this one here demonstrates his patience and hits the hole hard now let's look at this play here right here he's like oh snap this defensive line just got in my lane i need to change my direction quick what does he do spin out of there cut back and finish strong I mean, that's McKinnon in a nutshell. At the end of the day, some of these are pure instincts, knowing how to change direction on a flip of a dime. I mean, look at this other play. You're going to have every lineman block down this way and McKinnon just reads, cuts back here, uses his speed and elusiveness to pick up the first down. Then we have this play right here. I mean, my goodness, number 90 from Chicago just bullied the left guard, gave up all of his real estate. Now look at McKinnon. You would think that he's probably stopped in his tracks right here. Well, you're wrong. McKinnon uses that quickness to get out of there, made this guy look silly and pick a positive yardage out of something that looked like it was gonna lose yards. That was impressive. Now there are some downfalls when being a patient running back, like this play here. You read it, there's nothing there and you cut back and you end up costing your team more yards plus a possible holding there penalty flu so you gotta pick and choose your battles right then here you catch the football and you start thinking as to where you're you're gonna go and then you cost yourself some more yards and possibly a first down so there are some good and some bad to go along with the patient running of Jarek mckinnon so it's all about choosing your battles and i think that only comes over time with playing more and more football remember this is the year i think dalvin cook got 
got hurt. So it was Jarek McKinnon and Latavius Murray you know picking up all of the carries um this was this was a big year for jarek the last thing i want to discuss is the injury he did have a setback last year but we have not seen him in in real action going on two years now he along with so many other 49er players i will keep tabs on as training camp starts hopefully soon he did restructure his contract this offseason so he wants to be a 49er and i'm excited to watch him but you know injuries could be a tricky thing especially with the acl tear so it is still yet to be determined if he'll be as explosive as he once was but the truth is we have had football players come back adrian peterson being one of them look he's still in the league so there's a lot to look forward to if you're Jarek mckinnon and i feel like he has put in that work um in order to get close to 100 percent this year but i'm done talking what do you think of jarek mckinnon go ahead and drop your comments below thank you all for watching my video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell to stay up to date with 49er news thank you again and we will see you on the next one guys peace Mm-hmm.